Avenatti appeared without handcuffs after surrendering himself to marshals early this morning. A public defender entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. He didn't speak except to say he understood the judge, but he looked calm as the judge set a $300,000 bond with no travel except to the districts in New York and California where he's facing charges unless he has permission from the court. Avenatti's accused in a Rob Peter to pay Paul scheme where he took money that was supposed to go to Stormy Daniels for her book deal, spent it, and then hounded the publisher for the next payment to reimburse what he had taken. Prosecutors say the adult actress was due $800,000 over four payments for her memoir, Full Disclosure, a tell all about her alleged affair with President Trump. But Avenatti allegedly had the payments sent to his account, even faking her signature, then spent it on lavish items like Ferrari payments, hotels and restaurants, even payroll checks to employees at his coffee company and law firm. He's accused of taking a total of nearly $300,000. After a pretrial hearing at 2 p.m., Avenatti is going to head to another courtroom on charges that he tried to shake down Nike for $25 million. Prosecutors say he threatened to release damaging information on the evening of their quarterly earnings call and the start of the NCAA men's college basketball tournament. Avenatti maintains that he's innocent, tweeting, I have trust in the system I've devoted nearly 20 years of my professional life to. I'm confident that I will be fully exonerated by a jury once all relevant evidence and documents are presented. And I look to forward to a full inquiry into the motivations behind the charges. The two cases here carry a maximum possible uh, penalty of 69 years in prison, but that's just the cases he's facing here in New York. He's also facing more charges in California, uh, alleged tax fraud, and also accused of stealing from clients there. In all, he's facing a possible 404 years in prison.